Okay guys, today we're going to talk about taking a break. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, we're taking a break. <laughs> Tash took a break. I didn't, it wasn't a break. It was, I don't think it was a break. What was it? Um, so, I took a month off um, and I went to India to do, it's probably just over a month, wasn't it? To do a yoga teacher training course. So it was a very intensive um, 200 hour and it wasn't a break. It was a break from the product, um, but doing something completely different. Yep. Yeah, cool. So you took off a month. How did you feel about taking off that month just beforehand? Like, preparation anxiety like um, I like think that? we we prepared really well so before I went away we uh, did a lot of videos so we put a lot of videos together and made sure that we had them stacking up so you guys wouldn't even know that I'd gone um, and we made sure we had enough blogs to cover um, the period that I was away and we had Courtney carrying on writing them while I was away um, Facebook Instagram LinkedIn all of that was still happening so we really planned it out. The only thing that sort of maybe um, took a break with me was the testing and, and all of that kind of stuff. So yep. the product itself, but it tipped along really well. I yeah, thought. I think you know, it did. We, it we planned it out. So any anxiety that I had, we put into action and prepared, you know, so. So wouldn't you say your time might've been better spent actually working on the product? Uh, no, I don't think so because I think taking We'll call it a break, only because it's a break from the product. Um, I think taking a break from the product, uh, I guess it it helps to step away from it. You know, we live and breathe it every single day. We're constantly working on it, constantly thinking of new things, constantly talking to people about it, making videos, editing videos, um, writing blogs. You know, constantly, it's, it's always in my mind and I'm doing it all day at my computer. I think stepping away from it and stepping completely away from those thoughts because to be honest I didn't really think about it the whole time I was, I was away, I was so busy, I, um, it, it was good for me, for me yes. personally, I don't, yep. um, and it didn't affect the product, No. so I think it was definitely worthwhile, yeah. And I guess coming back you've got sort of recharged and you've got fresh well, ideas that's right, and that sort of that's thing. that's right, that's right, it's sort of, it's... You know when you're making something and you can't get it quite right and then you ask someone else and they say, oh, you could just do this. And you're like, yes. Yeah. It's because we've become so close to it that I think taking a break and stepping away from it and doing something different, coming back to it, it is like a fresh mind yes. on it again. It's, I've, I've, yeah, yeah. I've taken a break from something that I've been so intensely involved with. Yep. Coming back, it is like it's fresh. Yeah. So from what I'm hearing you saying, that actually having a break is good for productivity. Yep. Uh, and it actually helps rather than. And would you say you've come back with some different thoughts? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I um before I would just try and perfect everything, and I think now it's more. I'm sort of more into the execution of the things that I'm doing. So videos and things like that. I mean, I'm just sort of like, oh, this will do. You know, this is fine. I don't. It doesn't need to be perfect with everything um, lined up completely perfectly, and it's yeah. I think it's definitely helped with that execution. Is is yeah. more sort of my focus now. Yep. Yep. Mm. And I think we should do a video about that because um, ex uh, trying to be a perfectionist all the time can actually hold you back, and you can yeah. end up procrastinating because of totally. it. Totally. Yeah. Definitely. You know, it would be like, oh, I wanna. I want to get this out, but it's just not quite right yet. Yeah, and then one it never pixel happens. moved, and yeah. that takes another week. And yeah, that's right. Yeah. So that's definitely has definitely helped. Yeah, and I do have some some good ideas, and I just feel better. You yeah. know, like I actually feel better for taking that break. So when you're feeling better yourself, I think it definitely helps with what you're doing. Yeah, I think so too. Um, we can get caught up in just work, 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 and everything rushing around and. Um, Certainly, you know, it may seem like I'm thinking that yoga is a bit, oh, yoga is a bit hocus pocus, but I, I think from doing it myself, it's actually really beneficial and allows you to just relax for a minute and, and feel mm. a lot calmer. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it's really helpful. It's a practice, you know, it's it's sort of not just um, something that's going to happen, you're going to do it and it, that's, you know, it's going to it's a practice and it's you know it's not just a bunch of poses it's a no so I guess yeah the main thing that, that we're trying to point out is that uh, going off and doing something else whether it be a break or some exercise or whatever it is climb a mountain uh, is actually really good and your product's not going to fall apart mm -hmm. you can prepare for it yeah totally and it can be more beneficial in the long run yeah yeah definitely like it's not going to it's gonna like it's gonna survive without you for a little while you know mm. it's not gonna you're in control it's yeah. something that you can control so take a break yeah. take a break guys um, bum, 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 bum.